Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on random access files. So before going to the random access files, files are classified into two types. First one is the sequential files, second one is the random access files. In sequential file, we want to access the records in a file sequentially but in the case of random access files suppose we want to access a particular record we can go to directly to that record and can access that record directly but in the case of sequential access files we can access the files from the beginning from mm -hmm. Sorry. data are stored sequentially. Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on random access files. So here files are classified into two types. First one is sequential files, second one is random access files. In sequential files, data or information stored sequentially. Suppose we want to access the last record of the file. Now we are starting the accessing from the first file, second file, third file, then go to the last file, then access that file. But in the case of random access file, suppose we want to access the last record of the file, so we can directly go to the last record then we can access the record. So in sequential accessing is nothing but like a linear search. Okay, so it can take more time. But in the case of random access, we can access the whatever the record you want, that record can be accessed randomly. So it can take very less time. Okay. So there are uh, three file handling functions are used to support random access files. So first one is FTEL function, second one is a rewind function, third one is FSEQ function. So FTEL function can FTEL function tells about the current position of the file pointer in the given file. Okay, it tells about where the file pointer location where the file pointer is located okay it tells the current position of the file pointer so the syntax of ftel function is ftel within the parenthesis file pointer okay so ftel so here file pointer variable so this file pointer points to the current position of the file. So the FTEL function tells about the current position of the file pointer in the given file. The syntax is FTEL, so file pointer variable semicolon. Next one, rewind function. So this function resets the file pointer to the beginning of the file. Okay, what Wherever the file pointer is there in the file, so the reset function, sorry, the rewind function resets the file pointer to the beginning of the file. Okay, suppose we can take a file, suppose we can take a file, so here the file pointer is there in the position, by using the rewind function, it can set the file pointer to the beginning of the file. So to the beginning of the file. So from
from this position phi pointer can be moved from this position to this position so by using the rebind function so rebind function is used to reset the phi pointer to the beginning of the phi so for that purpose so rebind function is used so what is the difference between f tell function and rebind function f tell function tells about the current position of the file pointer so where the file pointer is uh, located in the given file so that position tells that position given by the f tell function but uh, rebind function is this function is used for reset the file pointer position to the beginning of the file suppose we can take a file here the file pointer is file pointer position is there so this rebind function resets the file pointer position to the beginning of the file to the beginning of the file so the syntax of rebind function is rebind file pointer variable next third function is f seek function so f seek function is used to move the file pointer position to the desired position in the given file suppose wherever the file pointer position is there in the given file that file pointer position can be moved from the current position to any position any desired position in the given file okay for that purpose we are using f seek function okay this function is used to move the file pointer position from the current position to any desired position in the given file for that purpose we are using f seek function the syntax is f seek file pointer offset position okay it contains three parameters the first parameter is phi pointer phi it points to the position it point it points to the constant phi offset is nothing but how many number of bytes or characters to be moved is nothing but offset value so that can be moved either in a forward direction or in backward direction so that offset contains two values either positive value or negative value positive value means the file pointer can be moved in forward direction negative value is nothing but negative value is nothing but the file pointer can be moved to or moved to backward direction okay position so position of the position contains three values zero is nothing but beginning of the file one is nothing but current position two is nothing but uh, ending of the file so these are the three positions position zero is nothing but beginning of the file position one is nothing but current position position two is nothing but end of the file offset is nothing but number of bytes or characters to be moved from the current position either in forward direction or in backward direction here positive value is nothing but moves in forward direction negative value is nothing but moves in backward direction so file pointer so the pointer points to the constant file so these three parameters are passed to the f seek function so the f seek function can take the third parameter position it can take one of the three values here position value is equal to zero it indicates the beginning of the file suppose if position value is equal to one it indicates the current position of the file suppose yeah position value is equal to two it indicates the end of the file okay so this is position value zero it indicates the beginning of the file position value one it indicates the current position of the file position value two it indicates the end of the file okay so these are the three parameters that can taken by the f seek function so first 
Fc's first parameter is phi pointer. Okay, it points to the constant phi. Second one is offset. So it indicates how many bytes or characters that can be moved from the current position either in forward direction or in backward direction. So forward direction contains the positive value. Backward direction contains the negative value. Next one, third one, file pointer position. Position, it indicates the file pointer position. So position value is equal to 0, it indicates the beginning of the file. Position value is equal to 1, it indicates the current position of the file. Position value is equal to 2, it indicates the end of the file. Now we can take some statements and what is the meaning of that statement. So Fc, Fp, 0L, 0. Okay, 0 is nothing but position. Position value is equal to 0 is nothing but beginning of the file. Okay, the file pointer goes to the beginning of the file. Okay. Next one, f seek fp comma 0l comma 1. So the file pointer moves to 1 is nothing but current position. So file pointer stays at the current position. Whatever the position is there at the whatever the position is there of the file pointer. So at the same position the file pointer is exist. Next one, f seek fp comma 0l comma 2. That means the file pointer can move to the end of the file. Here position value 2 is nothing but it indicates the end of the file. Position value 1 is nothing but stays at the current position of the file. 0 is nothing but beginning of uh, file pointer can move to the beginning of the file. Next fourth one f seek fp comma m comma 1. So here 1 is nothing but current position. So here this offset value is equal to positive value. So here m bytes, m bytes or m characters. So the file pointer can be moved. This is a positive direction. The file pointer can be moved in the forward direction by m bytes from the current position. So that is nothing but moves to forward direction by m bytes from the current position. Next one, f seek fp comma minus m comma 1. So 1 is nothing but current position. Here it is a negative. Minus m is nothing but negative. Negative is nothing but moves to backward direction. So the file pointer can be moved in backward direction by m bytes from the current position. That is the meaning of this statement. Next go backward direction by m bytes from the current position. Next one, f seek fp comma minus m comma 2. So moves in backward direction by m bytes from the end of the file. 2 is nothing but end of the file. So go moves to backward direction by m bytes from the end of the file. Okay, so these are the uh, six examples for f seek function. First, you have to observe the third parameter. The third parameter is position value. So its value is 0 is nothing but beginning of the file. 1 is nothing but current position. 2 is nothing but ending of the file. First, observe the third parameter. Next, observe the second parameter. Either it is a positive value or it is a negative value. Positive value is nothing but most moves to the forward direction. Negative value is nothing but moves to the backward direction. Next, next observe how many bytes we can be moved. Zero is nothing but, so there, is, there are no bytes to be moved. So m is nothing but m bytes can be moved in backward direction from the ending of the file. So first we have to observe the third parameter. Next, go to the second parameter either in positive or negative. So, positive means forward direction, negative means backward direction. How many bytes or characters to be moved that indicates the m value. Here, 0 is nothing but there are no moving, there are no bytes of moving. 
so this is the description about the random access files it can contain three para three functions ftl function rewind function fseq function ftl function tells about the current position of the file pointer so rewind function resets the file pointer position to the beginning of the file fseq function moves the file pointer position from the current position to any desired position in the given file so random access files so in this one we want to access a particular record from the given file so the file pointer can goes to directly to that record to that record and access that record okay so this is the description about the so random access files 